Hi folks, this is Karthik from PowerShell Free and today we are going to see how to change the PowerShell IS colors and theme. So yeah, let's start with the basic thing how to change the PowerShell IC theme, IC colors. Yeah. So jdhitsolutions.com So one of the PowerShell blogger has given up a fun theme as a Friday fun theme last year. So here you can see the codes. So this is one of the small code where you can change the set of partial IC. Okay. So here paste it. So here set font name size set font color and command pane and set colors for script name. Let me execute this one. No, now it's completely different. Okay, let me change it to 11. That should be a decent amount. Yeah, now it's completely black. So when you write a script, example. So you can get out what the, the code looks uh, look, looks different color. But this is not good, pretty good. Um, so let's go for the next code. So that is the next code. This is specifically for designed in partial three. It works in partial two also. Okay, let me copy the code. So I'm going to paste it in here. Okay, it's good. I'm still running. Yeah, now it's complete. So you can see the difference. This is something better than the previous one. Yeah, exactly. They have a different colors. So this is looks good. And live in PowerShell, one of the blogger who has created an excellent team for PowerShell ISC where you can uh, import the XML files where you can import the XML files and change the colors accordingly it's, it's an awesome theme where you can also do those stuffs yeah so you can download you can download this theme from this particular link Level full action download folder. You you will be downloading entire folder. Yeah, it's there, and you have to download IC color theme CMD. Let's. This is also required, and which this command lets Im use to import the XML files. So this is also downloaded. See here, okay. So now I'm going to move these particular XML files or sorry, it's PS1 XML files and these PS1 files into the Windows modules folder. So basically, you can find the Windows module. Yeah, this command and the PS module part. So this is 
is the part where I have kept the XPS X, PS1 XML files and the and commandlets. So let me copy this. Now it's copy. Let me move to the models folder. Now I'm going to import the input module takes some more time yeah that's good so I'm importing this ps1 IEC color theme CMG let's start ps1 as a module now it's imported so as per the instructions given in the life in partial block how to execute this particular command XML files are present inside these subfolders. So I'm going to execute this command. You can see the magic now. Oh, there was an error. What's that? HKCU software in Microsoft PowerShell 3. It doesn't exist. That's a uh, different error. Okay. Okay, so let me check record it. Yes. Now, the particular key is not present in the key current user software Microsoft. And then power show oh, there is no key partial let me create it so how do we create it there's a command called new i tum Partial prompt. That's a little bit. Okay. So new item. One proper one key is been created.
sorry for the disturbance now all the keys has been created and now we're going to execute here So GCI is an ally of get child item. I found records will search for the subfolders and filters, especially PS1 XML file. Select full name, import IC theme file. So okay, now this has been imported. Let me apply the theme. Uh, some people apply it in now the match check shows beginning you can see the magic it keeps on changing still the script is running There are some bugs inside since the phone family mentioned in the module or in the PSN XML file is not present in the system. Still, it is running. Now, the execution is completed. Finally, this is the theme it has applied. So, let me change the theme. shell collect themes blackboard store a storable collect theme this is an awesome theme I'm gonna apply it still running oh it does finished With some errors due to maybe the for required fonts are not available thanks for watching this video hope this should have helped you to resolve the issues thank you